Good evening and welcome to the February 5th, 2020 legislative session of the Penfield Town Board. Uh, welcome to everyone. I'll ask uh, everyone to please rise. Uh, and I'm going to ask uh, our friends from Troop 9, Miller and Max, if they would please lead us in the pledge tonight. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great, thank you very much. Miller Max, thank you. Troop 9, working on citizenship in the community. Uh, good luck on uh, attaining that badge. And uh, good luck on the journey towards uh, Eagle. So uh, look forward to uh, going to your court of honor. Uh, so please uh, send us an invitation. Thank you. All right, uh, we'll continue on with our agenda. Uh, and uh, the next item is public participation. And uh, I'll ask our clerk, has anyone signed up uh, to speak at this point? There are two opportunities uh, at this point. Uh, you can do that. Uh, and again, at the end of the agenda, uh, and you can do that one of three ways. If you're here in the audience, you can call in at 340-8771, or you can log on at penfield.org. So, Amy? Okay, I have actually nine people that would like to speak today. The first one is Alan Hibner. Welcome, Al. Hey. Welcome. Good evening, Supervisor LaFountain and members of the board. My name is Al Hibner. It's a privilege to follow uh, information about green, renewable victory gardens and talk to you about green, renewable energy tonight. So, um, I live at 85 High Ledge Drive in Penfield. I'm retired. And since the beginning of 2017, I've been volunteering full time with lots of different organizations in the Rochester area that are laser focused on helping to reverse human caused global warming and climate change. I'm personally dedicating all of my literally thousands of hours of work in the past three years, past, present, and future, to creating a more livable world for my five grandchildren. I am the leader of the Penfield Community Choice Aggregation Residence Committee, and that's, that's a mouthful, that's a lot to say, so I'm gonna kinda of shorten that to CCA, Penfield CCA Residence Committee, and we are a strictly nonpartisan group of citizens in Penfield who care deeply about the devastating effects of climate change. The issue, this issue cannot be one that divides us. It's it must transcend hyperpartisanship that is so prevalent in our politics today. There is not a single moment to waste in finding solutions to this existential problem. So I wanna sincerely thank all of you on the town board and also on the Energy and Environmental Advisory Board, all of those members for undertaking a careful review of the CCA program over the last year and a half and for tonight, launching the formal process to consider implementing a CCA program for Penfield with your resolution to set up a public hearing on the adoption of a local CCA enabling law. This is big. Our residence committee is very gratified at the tangible progress being made tonight by you and we are also very proud to have worked with you and alongside you and the EEAC committee in advancing this critical effort since the fall of 2018. We've been traveling with you down this road together. As you members of the board already know and the rest of the Penfield residents will soon be learning more about over the coming weeks and months, a CCA program puts the control of choosing an energy supplier in our own community's hands. By pooling or aggregating the energy demand of all 36,000 plus Penfield residents, we build the clout necessary to negotiate lower rates with suppliers and to choose cleaner energy from renewable, carbon-free energy sources. The other members of the committee will now describe for you in greater detail how we would like to see a CCA program in Penfield structured and what the benefits of our vision for that program will be for all of our town's residents. Thank you. Thank you all. Megan May Myers. Sorry, Megan. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> 
Good evening, and thank you for uh, hearing us tonight. Um, my name is Megan Meyer, and I live at 61 Henderson Drive in Penfield. And um, the Penfield School System and its teachers had, had inspired me to follow a career in education. My parents instilled in me a respect and love for our natural world. They also taught me to leave things behind better than you found them. I grew up and raised my children here in Penfield, so my roots run deep. I believe how we structure Penfield's CCA program is a choice that impacts not only our pocketbooks, but will impact future generations with the kind of world they inherit. I support our town of Penfield moving forward with community choice aggregation that chooses 100% renewable energy, clean renewable electric energy for all participants as our neighboring towns of Pittsford, Brighton, and Rondequoit have done. I also feel a community solar opt-up option is essential to the program um, that we put in place. The community solar opt-up component guarantees an additional savings of 8 to 10 percent over our current default RG&E rates for electricity and supports our local economy by keeping our electric dollars local and supporting local renewable energy production. It will also help the local economy create jobs. This choice will not only reduce our residents' energy bill, but additionally will be a better choice environmentally. To quote the World Resources Institute and our world's leading climate scientists, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, climate change is an urgent threat to humanity that demands swift, decisive action. Fires, droughts, floods, hurricanes, rising seas. Climate impacts are being felt all around the world and on track to get much worse. Every year of delay and every tenth of a degree matters. The next few years is the last window we have to steer the world in a better and safer direction for future generations. Addressing climate change requires dramatic changes to how we power our homes and factories and build our cities to how we feed our families and move around. Yet countries, businesses, states, and cities have yet to make the deep structural, economic, and societal shifts that are required. We have put our faith in you as our town leaders to make the right choice in choosing a CCA program that offers only 100% renewable energy and community solar opt-up option that can further save money for our residents. A choice that will benefit all of us now, but also looks to ensure a sustainable future for our children and grandchildren. And I have a question for board members, um, and that is, will you commit to choosing 100% renewable electricity for our town as a default option if it can be provided at less than our g and E's rate? What I'll say is that as we study this, uh, we'll make sure that we're doing the right thing uh, overall. Uh, but again, it's got to be good for the overall community. Uh, and we got to make sure that uh, we're not costing our residents more overall. So as we go down this path, uh, I think uh, this board and especially the EAC has demonstrated that they will look at everything in the best interest of the community overall. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. John Steepy. Good evening. Hi, John. My name is John Steepy. I live at 4 Libel Court here in Penfield. I'm here in support of the town's initiative to bring community choice aggregation to Penfield, and I thank the board for pursuing this initiative because it's an important one. CCA is important because it is a program that when properly implemented will offer several opportunities. 
Opportunity for town residents to save money on their electric bills through a no-risk program. And I say no risk because RG&E will still deliver the electricity through their own infrastructure, which they still will maintain, and they will still handle billing. It's very transparent. And also, residents can opt out of the CCA program at any time without penalty. It's an opportunity for Penfield to join other municipalities, already mentioned, around Quake, Brighton, and Pittsburgh, that are also moving ahead with CCA to provide residents with clean, 100% renewable electricity. Town residents can save on their electrical energy costs because the customers from all the CCA municipalities are aggregated, enabling a strong position for negotiating lower electrical energy rates. And as mentioned by uh, Megan, uh, by joining a solar community program, community solar program, uh, rates could be lowered even more. It's also an opportunity for Penfield to show that the town is ready to provide citizens a clean electrical energy option, that they're ready to be a regional leader in the green energy movement, and ready to do its part to rid our air of toxic pollutants such as the carbon emissions from the fossil fuels used to generate our electricity today. It's an opportunity to show that Penfield is concerned for the health and well-being of its residents, not only today, but in the years and decades to come. And to show that Penfield cares about the kind of world we leave to our children and grandchildren. We're all familiar with Fairport's reputation for low electrical rates via their village-owned utility. Everybody talks about Fairport rates. I believe that CCA in Penfield is the next best thing. The entire town can enjoy electrical rates lower than they already pay, and it can be done with 100% renewable energy. I support CCA in Penfield, and I encourage you to do what is good for the town its residents, and on a broader basis, our planet. By moving ahead with community choice aggregation and 100% clean renewable energy in Penfield. Thank you for your time. Thanks, John. Thank you. Marty Korn. Good evening, doctor. I, that's fine. I have I have yours, and I also have the list, so okay. we're good. Thank you. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Mr. LaFountain and members of the town board, my name is Martin Korn. I live at uh, 71 Hillary Lane Penfield and have been a resident at that location for over 50 years, which uh, compared to many people in this room is not very long. Uh, but that's the best we could do. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know about this wonderful town before that. <laughs> My wife, Phyllis Korn, and I last addressed you regarding the fracking issue, and we want to thank you for that action, which is now codified at state level, as you well know. And you were one of the starters that were role models in helping others move forward. We're here today to address the CCA resolution. Community choice aggregation has been well spelled out, which I believe is a wonderful win-win opportunity for our town. It's sort of like having your cake and eating it too. We are hopeful hopeful that uh, that you all plan to vigorously support this resolution and ultimately <coughs> excuse me ultimately to alter the language to require that all electricity generation be by renewable technology this can be accomplished under CCA related community solar under the CDG and alphabet soup of various kinds that we certainly can talk about later and is subject for future discussion. 
uh, following CCA full resolution and passage. Uh, and we look forward to having that discussion in detail, getting into the weeds, which is where the important issues lie and need to be uh, looked at very carefully because there are differences among the administrators that are very significant. So we look forward to joining with the other towns in our area who have the same concerns about the health of our planet and the urgent need to embrace 100% alternatively sourced electric energy for our town and away from all, all carbon-based fossil fuels. Our children and our grandchildren are depending on us to do this and nothing less. We just have to think about Greta Thunberg and her view and, uh, and who she said, who are the adults in the room. Uh, we have a real responsibility to our future generations and that time is now. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of slack time to work with. And we can save money while we're doing it. That's the eating of the cake. There are exciting and productive times ahead. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. And Phyllis Corn. Mr. LaFountain and Phyllis. members of the board, I am Phyllis James Corn. And Marty and I have lived at 71 Hillary Lane, Penfield for more than 50 years. I'm here tonight because I want to see Penfield join other Monroe County towns with a mission to make and keep their town's electricity more green. I personally was taught as a child to try to make a difference in this world. And I'm here because I cringe at the destruction that we humans are causing to the environment and to our natural world. We want to see our children and our seven grandchildren, and we want them to know that we, their grandparents, see the problem of climate change and will be part of the solution. It's critical that we all recognize that clean energy does not include carbon-based fuel and that natural gas is a carbon-based fuel. Please keep that in mind as you consider this whole issue. If we can make concrete steps toward renewable and sustainable clean electric energy, we may make Penfield eligible for future grants as a green community with a far-sighted board. Tonight I want to ask Mr. LaFontan and the town of Penfield Will you commit to seeking clean, 100% renewable alternative energy source for the town's electric power? And I know you just addressed that yep. a few minutes ago. And, and we will, as part of that process, Phyllis, we definitely will look at that. And again, uh, we're going down and uh, we're covering some, some ground that uh, we haven't co covered before. And uh, this board and our EAC have been very diligent in doing our due diligence as we've gone through. And I think uh, you've heard me say, or you've heard our board say, and uh, to quote uh, Sinette Cavalier, who's on that board, we may not be the first, uh, we may, be the la may not be the last, but we will be the best uh, when we're done. Thank you for your continuing commitment to keeping Penfield green, or as green as we can, and to all you do, each one of you, for our town. Thank you. Thank you, Phyllis. Thank you for coming. Ruth Marchetti. Welcome. Well, thank you. 
Um, good evening. So my name is Ruth Marchetti. I live at 227 Henderson Drive, my neighbor in Penfield. I've recently retired from um, some 30 plus years of work with the Catholic Church. Some of it here at St. Joseph's School in Penfield as a teacher and then uh, later with Catholic Charities in the Diocese. And I say that because my faith underlies the other passions in my life, my family, my commitment to building a just world, my love of the natural world. And so I was especially excited when Pope Francis released his encyclical on the environment five years ago. This lengthy letter from the Pope is unusual because it's not addressed just to Catholics. It was addressed to every person living on the planet. And there was a reason for that. The environmental crisis facing our planet is so immense that it will take all of us, individuals, corporations, and governments large and small, working together to heal the damage that risks the futures of our children and our grandchildren. I'm also a founding member of uh, RECA, which is Rochester Area Interfaith Climate Action. So it's not just Catholics in this game, it's across the board. We have um, people of all faiths that are engaged in doing this work. So two months ago we heard our Penfield High Schoolers speak eloquently about the need to protect our earth for their generation and those that follow. They're afraid that we adults will not respond until it's too late. We can't disappoint them by squandering this opportunity to provide 100% clean, renewable energy for the town of Penfield. I support community choice aggregation for Penfield because it's the easiest way for the people in this town to move away from carbon-based fuels. That's why I'd like Penfield to join Arondequoit, Brighton, and Pittsford to have 100% renewable electricity as a default option for our CCA. And I want the town to select an administrator for the program that can offer lower cost local community solar as an opt-up option. So there are three CCA administrators certified by the state of New York, Jewel, Good Energy, and Mega. Will you be looking at all three administrators and what distinguishes one from another in this, in this process? That'll be part of our process, yes. Good. Good. Um, and if you don't join Pittsford, Brighton, and Arondequoit with their CCA, how will you go about selecting an administrator then? We'll, we'll, uh, we have uh, received uh, the information that uh, they used when they went through an RFP for the administrators, and uh, we'll look at uh, that. Uh, we'll probably make some uh, changes and upgrades uh, to that. Uh, I think each time that uh, you go out, you, you get better information, and uh, you look for more information to be fed back. Um, and uh, we'll go through the process uh, to see you know, what is the best fit for Penfield. Um, I do, also, do you have one that uh, you're uh, suggesting? Um, I'm familiar with Jewel, and I know that they offer the opt-up option, and that they have been, and that's the one that the towns had gone, the other towns had gone with. So um, that's my preference. I'm, I'm hoping it ends up being your preference, but I certainly would be open to any of them that are able to offer the same 100% clean energy, and preferably with that opt-up option so that we can take advantage of local solar projects here at an even deeper discount for those who choose it. So that, that would be my preference. Um, so I just want to close tonight with a few words of advice from Pope Francis. So he offered this to government leaders. This is a little quote. True statecraft is manifest when, in difficult times, we uphold high principles and think of the long-term common good. So I ask that you do that today. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Ruth. Mindy McLaren. Hi, Mindy. Hi. Uh, my name is Mindy McLaren. I live at 1724 Five Mile Line Road. Um, uh, Dot and Nancy are gone, but they are the community garden is our um, direct neighbor, and that was one of the reasons why we purchased our home. So um, I can attest to how wonderful that garden is. 
Um, I want to begin by thanking all of you uh, on the board for furthering uh, this important issue of community choice aggregation for Penfield. Um, I support CCA for Penfield for a number of reasons, but one key reason is that it's a clear step that we can take in the fight against global climate change. As a mother of twin 10-year-olds, uh, I worry about how uh, the negative effects of a warming planet will affect um, their futures. And sadly, um, my daughters worry about that too. Secondly, I feel it's our moral responsibility to do what we can to positively impact our community and our environment at both the local and the global level. I would like Penfield to join with the surrounding towns of Pittsford, Brighton, and Irondequoit in having 100% renewable electricity as the default option for its CCA. And I'd like the town to select a CCA administrator that can offer the lower cost community solar as an opt-up option. Community solar, as uh, John and Megan uh, referred to earlier, um, is expected to save consumers between eight and 10% versus our g and &E standard rate and it will also help our local community, or local economy, excuse me. Um, I'd like to highlight a few more key points of benefit to adopting CCA. The first being um, that community choice aggregation programs are run by a third party administrator. Since there is little to no administrative cost to the town once it's up and running, there is no impact on taxes. CCA programs are already active in the eight states that have implemented CCA legislation. So aside from New York, this includes Massachusetts, Ohio, California, Illinois, New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Virginia. And many towns in New York State already implement, are already imp implementing or planning to implement CCA. Geneva and Brockport are two of 80 such places in the state of New York. Uh, CCA is an ideal initiative for Penfield to think globally and act locally. Our participation might encourage other towns to also participate, creating a domino effect in flipping entire regions to carbon-free energy and having the aforementioned positive impact on the collective problem of global climate change. And I would just encourage anybody that's interested to follow us on Facebook. Uh, we are the Penfield Community Choice Aggregation Resident Committee page. Thank you. Thanks, Mindy. Katie Rigg. <clears throat> Good evening. My name is Katie Rigg, and I live uh, at 23 Dundas Drive. I'd like to begin by echoing my friends here and thanking you for taking the bold steps in moving CCA, CCA along for our town. My husband and I are very much in favor of this program. We have two little girls, ages two and six. We, like most parents, make their health and happiness our top priority, now and for their future. It is in the interest of their future well-being that I'm here tonight. We are at a fork in the road here in Penfield. One path, either staying with RG&E or choosing a CCA that's not 100% renewable by default, leads to more of the same, burning fossil fuels in the mix to make our electricity and more CO2 in the atmosphere. But there is a second path, one that takes us to a new place and the promise of a whole lot less carbon being emitted. emitted. Iceland recently spent $10 million on a facility that captures CO2 and pumps it underground, sequestering it in rocks. When it hits maximum operations, it will capture 50 tons of CO2 per year, which is about the same emissions for one American household over the same amount of time. We have an opportunity now to cut out more than 20,000 20,000 tons of carbon dioxide every year if our town can transition to 100% clean electricity. With this one action, you five individuals can have a much bigger impact than the facility in Iceland by a factor of 400. And it won't cost $10 million. It's at no cost, even savings to our residents. I'm here to support 100% carbon-free electricity as the default offering, and I will absolutely oppose any mix that includes any form of fossil fuels. We have reached the point when 100% renewable is absolutely doable, and it makes sense financially. I 
I work with climate advocacy groups here in Rochester and we talk about Penfield quite often in the sense of how can we bottle what we have in Penfield and bring that success to other communities. In the past year, you have voiced your support for a price on carbon through your endorsement of bipartisan carbon fee and dividend legislation at the federal level. You have installed an incredible solar array to power town offices. You understand the urgency, the need to act now to protect our future, my daughter's futures. Please continue to do the right thing and move quickly to aggregate with our neighbors who have chosen an administrator who can offer the opt-up community solar package so we can maximize our savings, support our local economy, and most importantly to my family and increasing numbers of your constituents reduce our carbon footprint. So I have a question. And I'm wondering if we, uh, you will be applying for the Clean Energy Communities Program. We're working on that. Uh, that's the next uh, piece uh, that the board is working on. In fact, we're meeting with um, Haley Farring yeah. Farrington right. uh, next week uh, with our with our uh, couple of members of our committee. That's wonderful news. So. Um, wish you luck. Wish yes, really. <laughs> and then besides CCA, uh, what's next in your sustainability plan for Penfield? Well, that's a great uh, that's a great question, uh, Katie. I'm I'm not uh, going to sit here and tell you that I've got uh, all the answers right off the top of my head. Other than uh, we've got an active committee and uh, we continue and they continue to push uh, the envelope. So uh, stay tuned um, right. and uh, come to our come to our meetings and uh, learn. We'll learn together. All right. Thank all you. Right. Sure thing. And Jeff Burns. Good evening. Hi, I'm Jeff, Jeff Burns. Uh, I live at 39 Scarborough Park. I uh, was surprised to realize that I've lived here for 16 years. That time's gone by very fast. Um, I'd like to thank the board, like the others have, uh, for continuing to move this process forward uh, to introduce CCA Community Choice Aggregation to Penfield. Uh, like the others have said, uh, I also support Community Choice Aggregation for Penfield, and I feel very strongly that our default option for the town should be electricity that's 100% renewable, carbon-free electricity. I think that this is a wonderful opportunity to switch our entire town over to renewable energy and to save money at the same time. My neighborhood has had group purchases on various items over the years. We have an email group that we uh, share uh, group purchase of, purchase of things like uh, snow plowing and mulch delivery. Uh, community choice aggregation is a little bit like that. It's like a group purchase of electricity but on a town-wide basis. By pooling our purchasing power, we can negotiate a better price with uh, electricity suppliers. Um, the town of Penfield solar array produces carbon-free electricity that's equivalent to the annual use of about 120 houses, from what I understand. Uh, if we go with a green CCA for Penfield, we'll reduce our carbon footprint by more than 100 times that. So it would be like having that solar field, but 100 times bigger in terms of what the impact would be on uh, our carbon relief here. Uh, the solar array also, I understand, has saved taxpayers uh, over $40,000 last year. Uh, so we c that demonstrates the kind of savings that we can have with a group purchase of uh, carbon-free electricity as well. We can see that it's possible. Westchester Power was the first CCA to be operational in the state of New York. It serves 27 municipalities, 24 of which I understand have chosen re renewable power as the default option. So that's, that's the, uh, the baseline that we want to hit. If we want to be the best, we need to be up with those 24 that have chosen to have uh, renewable power as a, as a default option. According to an article in Newsday newspaper, the residents there saved more than $17 million in rate savings in less than three years. By implementing a renewable CCA, as someone else had mentioned, Penfield will encourage other towns to do so, and this can continue on. This could be a domino effect that could spread regionally, nationally. We could have an opportunity for Penfield to have a multiplying effect in reducing our impact on the climate. 
So what we do here has not just an effect on Penfield, but it would have an effect ultimately in places like California, Australia, Greece, where we've seen these tremendous, horrible fires that have been largely as the result of climate change. To go partway with only slightly cleaner mix of electricity would be missing that opportunity. We're a bit behind some of the other towns in the area in terms of uh, doing CCA to reduce electricity costs and, elim and eliminating carbon emissions. I agree with what other people have said that I'd really like to see, if possible, for Penfield to join Arondequoit, Brighton, and Pittsford uh, because they already have an aggregation and we could be part of a larger aggregation and have that much greater negotiating power when we're negotiating for green energy. Uh, currently, I get my energy through an ESCO uh, from Buffalo, from the uh, Energy Cooperative of uh, America, and uh, through them, I pay a little bit less, uh, well, I pay uh, a, a, a little bit, I pay, excuse me, I pay 22% less than I would pay through RG&E if I went with their green option. I pay slightly more than their, than their standard mix. So, that's the type of savings that we could have where we could be actually below, though, the, uh, the cost of the, the conventional mix of electricity. I'd really like to see the town select an administrator for the program that can also offer community solar as an opt-up option. And what's different about this option is that usually when you opt up, you pay more. But in this case, we'd be paying less. Anybody who participated would be guaranteed savings of 8 to 10 percent versus RG&E's standard electric rate. So a uh, few questions I have is, one, uh, Tony, I wanted to ask you, in terms of the clean energy communities, uh, what are the benefits to Penfield, the benefit that uh, Penfield might enjoy by being a part of that? From what I understand, that it will help Penfield to qualify for potential grants that could help develop further renewable energy projects in our town. That's correct. What's the scale of that? Do you have a feel for what uh, uh, you know, once we get together, we've uh, we've had just a high-level discussion with Haley uh, here back in October. Uh, we're going to uh, drill down a little bit deeper, uh, and uh, we'll have a little bit better handle on that. But that certainly is one of the factors: is uh, being able to uh, qualify for some grant opportunities. Very good. Um, and then I'd like to ask the whole board in terms of uh, uh, does the whole board support implementing CCA? in Penfield, uh, with the understanding, of course, that it would be uh, at a reduced rate. Um, and we'll start with that. Is, would so, it, would so this is what I'm going to say. We're not yeah. going to go down and through and pull the board, uh, yeah. Jeff. Uh, what, yeah. I'm gonna, what I'm going to say is, is that, uh, you know, we're going to hold a public hearing. We're going to pass a resolution tonight yeah. to hold a public hearing, and we're going to continue down this path. Um, and uh, you'll have an opportunity to uh, get a little bit deeper dive as we go through. But the first and foremost, we've got to get uh, uh, the legislation in place, and uh, that is uh, legislation calling for CCA and Penfield. Okay. And then once we do that, that, then we'll start uh, going through the administrator process and uh, go down through. And I and I will tell you, I don't uh, necessarily think that uh, Penfield's that uh, far behind uh, because I don't uh, see uh, Brighton, Aronquoit, and uh, Pittsburgh moving quite as quick uh, with things, at least in conversations that I've had with those supervisors. So uh, I think uh, Penfield uh, may may catch up uh, sooner than you think and oh. may surpass uh, where they are. Uh -huh. So in terms of a timeline, do you think that this would be something that would be implemented yet in 2020, or do you think this is something we'd be looking at in early 2021? Do you no, have a I feel think, for what uh, I think we're going to hold a public hearing, and uh, unless there's some surprises that come out that uh, we're not aware of, um, I think uh, we're looking to uh, pass that uh, enabling re uh, uh, legislation, you know, sometime in the, the April time frame. Right. But in terms of implementation thereafter, and we'll uh, go, then we'll go through the process. Right. Uh, Jeff, uh, yep. we'll follow the process. We'll go through. It'll take some time, uh, you know. So from when uh, the other community started to where they are today, I think uh, they're probably about 18 months or thereabouts uh, from where they started to where they are. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, um, uh, like I said, I don't think it'll it'll take us uh, that long. I think we'll go down that path a little bit quicker because uh, we certainly can learn 
from them and others that uh, that are embarking on this. Right. And and that's part of the thing that uh, the EEAC uh, has done so well is uh, to keep their finger on the pulse not only locally uh, but around uh, New York State and other states to see how things are going and learn from that. Yeah. Now, do you think that the uh, having the community solar as an option is uh, worthwhile? For Stay Pinto? tuned. Follow us through the process, Jeff, uh -huh. and we'll see how that all shakes out. Right. Okay. But don't box me in a corner. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. That's all I have. Okay. Uh, is there anyone else that uh, has uh, not spoken tonight on this topic? And then we'll also open it up to any other topics that anyone might have. Okay. Anyone else in the audience to address the board on any matter? At this time, again, there is a second uh, opportunity uh, at the end of the meeting. Setting a public hearing to consider adoption of local law number two of 2020 to be known as a local law to authorize establishment of a community choice aggregation energy program in the town of Penfield. Moved. Second. Whereas the town board of the town of Penfield wishes to consider adopting proposed local law number two of 2020 to be known as a local law to authorize establishment of a community choice aggregation program in the town of Penfield. Whereas the purpose of said law, local law, is to reduce costs and provide cost certainty for the purpose of economic development to promote deeper uh, penetration of energy efficiencies and renewable energy resources such as wind and solar and wider development of distribution of energy resources as well as to examine the retail energy markets and increase participation of and benefits for eligible consumers in those markets. Among the policies and models that may be offered benefits in New York is community choice aggregation known as CCA which allows local governments to determine the default supplier of electricity and natural gas on behalf of eligible consumers. Whereas the town will seek a combination of lowest costs and highest percent of renewable energy resources. Now therefore be it resolved, I'm sorry, therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Penfield shall hold a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall on March 4th, 2020 at 7 p.m on said date to consider the said proposal, to hear all persons interested in the question of the adoption of local law two of 2020 to be known as a local law to authorize the establishment of a community choice aggregation or CCA program in the town of Penfield. A copy of said law is attached to this resolution and will be part of as schedule A. Thank you. Thank you. Discussion board. Okay, seeing no further discussion, uh, roll call vote, please. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. LaFountain. Aye. Moore. Aye. Akadin. Aye. Five eyes. Uh, this brings us to our second public participation. Again, if you're in the audience, you can address the board on any matter. You can call in at uh, 3408771. Uh, log on at penfield.org. Uh, Al, your hand was up first. Jeff, your hand was up second. So please. Again, my name's Al Hibner, and I've lived, I live at 85 Hallage Drive, and I think I've lived in Penfield for 55 years. I think I outrank you <laughs> just, just a tad, Marty. <laughs> and I want to absolutely thank the board for unanimously passing Resolution 20T062. We have begun the process to implement CCA tonight. So thank you, thank you for that. I want to conclude uh, remarks made by our residence committee members tonight by taking just a moment to step back in time to a point that I think uh, are two amazing accomplishments, accomplishments by this board already. Accomplishments that truly set the stage for what our CCA program in Penfield must become. First, on May 9, 2018, all five members of this board, now I know two of you are new, yes. signed a letter endorsing Citizens Climate Lobby's policy called Carbon Fee and Dividend. At that time, all board members indicated unanimous support for placing a steadily rising fee, and I have a copy of this and I will give you copies of everything 
uh, that I have. Steadily rising fee on CO2 and equivalent emissions at the national level and for returning 100% of the net revenues from that fee to all American households as equal shares. Now under this policy that you endorsed, monthly dividend checks would be sent to each family to offset 100% or more of the rising costs of energy derived from burning fossil fuels for the vast majority of low and middle income families in our country. The policy is revenue neutral, it does not grow the size of government, and it is the first best step Congress can take to begin the process of reversing global warming. It is not the only step we need to take, but it is the first best step that we need to take. Secondly, almost a year later, actually a bit more than a year later, Supervisor on June 3rd, 2019, Supervisor LaFountain signed a letter on behalf of the board, and again, I have copies of that for the new members to review. Endorsing what became the Energy Innovation Carbon and Dividend Act, House Resolution 763. This is the bill that will actually implement the carbon fee and dividend policy described above. I hand delivered the letter from Supervisor LaFountain to the staff members of Congressman Joe Morelli and later in June, he decided to co-sponsor this bill and made the Energy Innovation Act, H.R. 763, the cornerstone of his climate action policy announced on August 14th, 2019. And I believe that your letter and your endorsement earlier had a profound impact on his decision to co-sponsor this bill. I talked with him about that. When a price on carbon takes effect in the very near future, and it will, come back and talk to me at some point. Trust me, it will. It has to. Electricity generated from coal and natural gas fired power plants will rise steadily in price over two decades until all such fossil fuel plants become economically unsustainable and are finally closed. Witness that already happening. Two days ago, the Democrat and Chronicle headlined, New York's last coal plant, and this is in Niagara County, is, is closing. See the real life impact. It's happening now. The closing of fossil fuel generated uh, energy plants. So what does this mean for our CCA program here in Penfield? We have a chance, you have a chance right now to structure our program so that 100% of the electricity that we purchase through the program comes from renewable and carbon free sources. This can be done from the very beginning of our program at a cost that's lower than RG&E's prior 12 month average rate for electricity. If we also incorporate community solar into our program, those residents who opt in to community solar will be guaranteed savings of eight to 10% on the electricity portion of their monthly energy bill. Doing so, doing this, knowing that carbon pricing will cause the price of fossil fuel generated electricity to increase year by year means that you are insulating, inoculating, and shielding Penfield residents from higher electricity costs now and into the future, as well as building a more sustainable and livable world for everyone residing in our town. Doing so is the financially responsible and environmentally sustainable choice that we on the committee urge you to make. This is the choice that you must make. Thank you so much for listening to all of us tonight. We appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. Thanks, Al. Thank you. Thank you. Jeff? Make sure she pays you for the price of that newspaper, Al. <laughs> I'll be very fast. I uh, was so busy trying to get my uh, points across. I forgot to uh, provide everyone with our website. So uh, the website is penfieldcca.org. So if anybody would like more information about community choice <coughs> aggregation in Penfield, and also we'll be putting up more information about what other communities are doing, uh, what the savings have been elsewhere, uh, and what the uh, impact has been concerning um, carbon control. Thanks. Okay, thanks, Chef.
Anyone else? Okay, seeing no other comments, public uh, participation. Uh, thank you for everyone that participated. Thank you to Penfield TV at uh, 8.28 p.m. Thank you.